The tranquil waters of this lake in Kent are rich in aquatic life, from frogs and fish to waterfalls and newts, the perfect prey for an animal that you wouldn't normally associate with water, a long, smooth, olive green predator, the grass snake. But there's a lot more to a grass snake than simply being, well, a snake in the grass. Personally, I think the grass snake is one of the most poorly named animals in Britain. Most people would assume they're only found on dry land, in amongst grass. But probably a much better name would be water snake. And I want to show you why. But the problem is finding one. The best chance of a sighting should be on a sunny morning, just like this. At the moment, they'll have just come out and they'll be basking. They need that heat to get them going in the day. They don't have ears, but detect sounds through vibrations in the ground. So my voice won't disturb them, but I have to tread softly. For several hours, nothing. But just as we were about to give up, whilst the camera was pointing in another direction, it happened. Well, this is a really quite exciting and frustrating in equal measure. Our cameraman, who's got the camera at the minute, has just had a grass snake swim right past his feet, but it's just disappeared. It seems to have gone under there, so all we can do is sit and wait. Got it. <laughs> it's a very, very long snake. That's got to be a metre twenty, making it a female. The females are generally longer. A lily pad is the perfect place for a rest, while tasting the air for the scent of prey. Look at the speed through the water. I've never seen one swimming as well as that. That is just sensational. The best views I've ever had of grass snake. But I want to find out how it swims so well which means getting a much closer look in more controlled surroundings. I'm only handling this marvellous beast here with the special permission of the good folk here at Wildwood. They let me show you why a grass snake is a grass snake. For me, the key feature is that yellow collar just behind its head. And if you get a really close-up view of its eye, you'll see the pupil is round not like a vertical cat's eye pupil. But I'm not here to stare into its eyes. I'm here to get a good look at its aquatic skills. So we've set up a snake swimming pool. Underwater and slow motion cameras will allow us to film it in action. Right, it's the moment of truth. Time to see how our swimmer gets on in a specially rigged tank. Here we go. Oh, look at that! Powering away with those S-shaped curves. Slow motion reveals how the snake swims forward. With each turn, its body acts like a paddle, pushing the water back to propel the snake forward. Its streamlined body glides through the water. Strong muscles keep its head raised well above the surface on the lookout for both predators and prey. Grass snakes really are perfectly adapted for an aquatic lifestyle. So next time you take a stroll along the water's edge, see if you can spot one of these skillful serpents swimming silently past. Wasn't that a beautiful film? Thank you, Mike. Thanks for that.